Welcome to Teledynamics video training series for the UCM 6300. Here are the topics being covered today. For simplicity, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. The first step is to log into the GUI of the UCM. Today, I will be showing you how to create a voiceover IP trunk or, more specifically, a SIP trunk. First, click Extension Trunk, and then select VoIP Trunks. You should now see two options. You can either create a SIP trunk or an EEX trunk. EEX stands for Inter Asterisk Exchange and is used to connect two asterisk-based PBXs together. I will just be covering how to create a SIP trunk today. Click on Add SIP Trunk. There are two types of SIP trunks to choose from. Peer, which uses IP authentication, and Register, which uses a username and password to authenticate with the SIP trunk provider. Select the type of trunk here that your SIP trunk provider offers. Then, give your trunk a name. Don't worry if you do not find your SIP trunk provider's name in the drop-down list. Next, under Host Name, Enter in the fully qualified domain name or IP address of the SIP trunk provider. Since I am setting up a register trunk, I will need to fill in the username and password. If this were a peer trunk, those fields would not be present. Once you have entered in all your SIP trunk settings, save and apply your changes. If everything was entered correctly and there are no firewall issues between the UCM and the SIP trunk provider, you should now see your trunk status being displayed as registered on the dashboard. To test and verify that you are sending calls to the new SIP trunk, I will show you how to create a quick outbound route to use this new trunk. Under Extension Trunk, click Outbound Routes and then click the Add button. Give the route a name and a dial pattern. In the example, I am just using an X and a period to signify a wildcard for testing purposes. Make sure to enable the route with a privilege level and assign the new SIP trunk for this outbound route to use. As always, save and apply changes. Now, since I gave the new outbound route a privilege level of national, I will need to make sure my extensions have at least this same privilege level or higher in order for them to be able to use this route. After verifying the privilege level on the extension, verify your trunk is still registered under System Status Dashboard. Then click Active Calls to watch that the call is being sent by the extension to the outside number you dialed. In the example shown, you can see that the trunk name is the connector between the two parties, and the call status is now shown as ringing the far end. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. The voiceover service featured in this video has been provided by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. Contact me today for your customized IVR and voice services needs. If you have questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, please contact your Teledynamic salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.